Alright, so this is what's up. Mr. Ukraine, the face of Ukraine. Yeah, the Ukrainian president is back in the United States of America with his hand out, wearing knockoff, well, at least wannabe 5'11 gear, right? But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to see any links or videos connected to what I'm going to be talking about in this video, make sure to follow me on Twitter. Twitter is where you will find that content that I will be referencing in this video. So without further ado, like I say, the guy, he showed up. You know, we already done reduced our standards for, you know, the style King Fetterman. We no longer have to show up wearing a suit and tie. Women can probably wear whatever they want because the men are already trying to plan to wear Speedos, I'm sure. Well, yeah, Zelensky is back. I think he wants 20 some odd billion dollars. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he don't have enough cash. He say that the war efforts against Russia is going so well, it's about over with. But he needs more funding. I also heard a report that things ain't going so well. Yeah, literally, they were hoping to get it to a point where Russia would back off with their, you know, war efforts. But for some reason, they can't do it without more funding. What's up with this guy? Like, he thinks that American citizens are just his personal bank account. He can draw from whenever he wants. He also came here requesting to speak to Congress. They said, uh-uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just be glad you're here. I don't know. I think this guy is just trying to accumulate as much funds as he can because he know that this roller coaster ride is going to not last as long as he would hope. You know, he wished that bank account would be unlimited forever. He is getting to look at this beautiful land that we call home but he needs more money do y'all think that we should just continue to fund something that really does not have an end date does not have a strategy in place that could come to some resolution they even asked him was he speaking to you know putin trying to resolve this mess nah not interested in that give us the money we'll take care of our own business yeah, sure. You can't do it without us. You need our funds. Matter of fact, you have an issue with Poland. Poland are not contributing their part. They say, uh-uh. If you can't give us grain, simple, you know, trade, issues that he's, they're having with another country, they say, no, nah, we're backing out. We're not going to take no part in this. We'll let you go ahead and figure it out. But for some reason, we are willing to give continuously. Another report came out that there is an American who's been incarcerated in Ukraine for quite some time. If you know the name of that person, put it down in the comment section. If you saw that report, definitely chime in on your thoughts. But it seemed like America could get a little bit out of this deal because as far as I can tell, we're getting nothing out of this other than dropping the, some cash in the bucket, no accountability. They are spending it probably however they want. They're probably stashing some of it. Who knows? We really have no accountability, no checks and balances on what they're doing with these funds. But for some reason, everybody should be okay don't say nothing we're doing it because we have to it seems right get in the comment section let me know your thoughts what do you think about Zelensky continuously coming requesting funding and our luxurious most powerful president is actually deciding to agree apparently we'll be seeing some more 
requests for funding come across his desk and they're hoping that Congress will sign off on it. Hopefully they don't. There's already some GOP, you know, personnel who are not trying to be so easy to give as in times past. Like the video, share the video, stay tapped in. More content coming out soon. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell so that you're alerted on when we have more content. Until next time.